Happy Thanksgiving! I'm trying to get in a good position. I'm used to walking and holding my camera, not sitting and holding it. I'm sitting in front of my little Christmas tree. I also call it my Hannah's Hope tree. So, I keep it up all year round because it's not just Christmas tree. When I was in the hospital one year, my classmates brought it. So my Christmas room, or my hospital room was all Christmassy. Thanks to them. They're the best. I'm going to set y'all up so I don't have to hold y'all. Cleaned my room up a little bit so that I could film and wish y'all a happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I am also going to get my calendar and tell y'all some of the things I'm thankful for. I think y'all will work there. So, as y'all know, I've been writing down <laughs> Oh no, that won't work Okay Don't fall Okay, I've been writing down things I am thankful for I started doing it on November 5th well, I'm going to be honest with y'all and tell y'all that I started forgetting and did not write down two things every day. The last day I wrote things down was November 18th, so yeah, I meant to write things down every day. Like a week that I didn't do it. So <sighs> So I'm gonna read off some of the things that I wrote down. Things that I can tell y'all. I am thankful for my family. We had a little scare where we thought my dad, my dad was, may have been exposed to COVID and so he had to be quarantined, but I'm thankful that he didn't get it. Um, thankful for my home. Man, this happens a lot that I get hot in videos. <laughs> I was, I promise I was freezing before I started filming. <laughs> um heat and air conditioning. I'm thankful for surprise visits from my big bro. I am thankful for technology and Wi-Fi. Today I was thinking about how thankful I am for YouTube. I'm thankful for my hair straightener and hairbrush. If y'all haven't seen the story about, I told y'all about a little girl in Romania and how I gave her my hairbrush. You should go back and watch that. I'm thankful for indoor plumbing and the ability to walk. Because there are some people with muscular dystrophy who can't walk. I actually found another YouTuber. Don't remember their name. That has spinal, mus spinal muscular atrophy. So that was cool. And they can't walk. Clothes. I am thankful for my tonic dystrophy. I can talk about that more if y'all want me to. Uh, it was Veterans Day, so I was thankful for veterans and TV. I also wrote down Jesus that day because I am very thankful for Jesus and I just had not written that down. 
thankful for friends, education, food, my own bed in my own room, sleep, which is very important to me and I don't feel like I get enough of it. I'm also thankful for my diffuser and essential oils. I'm, I wrote down on, I didn't write down essential oils on that page, but on the next page I did. The oils sometimes help my pain. Have I told y'all about that? I'll rub essential oils on my ribs, specifically peppermint oil, and it will help the pain. My cousin taught me that. Thankful for clean water. If y'all can't tell by some of these, I was thinking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot about Romania. And you can't turn on the faucet there and get a cup of water. You have to buy all your water in order to drink it. I'm thankful for money. I am thankful for police officers. I had said firefighters. That day I was struggling to come up with things. I thought, oh, police officers. I said firefighters, but I didn't say police officers. Very thankful for them protecting our community. Thankful for yarn. And I was thankful for being able to talk to my grandfather that day. I don't know if he had called me or I had called him. I don't remember. But I had been thinking a lot about him. And wanted to talk to him at some point so that's all that I wrote down um I'm thankful for the time I had with my grandmothers this is the first holiday that I'm spending without my mom's mom and we didn't necessarily go to her house on Thanksgiving but I know Christmas is going to be probably a lot harder. So. And. Oh, I don't know if we can. We probably won't be able to get together at Christmas. Couldn't for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I posted on my Instagram. A picture. Um, from several years ago. <laughs> Just because usually we get a family picture every year and do that for our Christmas card. But this year we didn't get a picture and probably aren't going to do Christmas cards. If we are, no one has told me that we are. So if we're doing that, we need to get on that. So I'm finishing up my college course I took this semester. So I really just wanted to get on here today and tell y'all happy Thanksgiving and share a few things that I'm thankful for. I'm looking around my room, I'm looking at things that I could be thankful for. I'm thankful for flowers. I like my rose, it's kind of dying. This is my rose. We have a vase in our kitchen with um, many roses, but I stole one from my room. I love flowers. My favorite flower is pink roses. I'm thankful that I have a closet for my clothes and a dresser for more clothes. I actually need to clean out my closet. Sorry, that sounded bad. One door won't close, and so I pushed on it and let go, and it squeaked because there's a shoe rack on it, and it rubs against the top of the door. I'm thankful for my bookshelf. I'm thankful for my pillbox because imagine me trying to take all my pills without a pillbox. It would take me hours and hours. Oh, I'm thankful for nail polish. A basket of nail polish over there. Thankful for books as well as my bookshelf, even though I'm not a big reader. My favorite book. 
I want to go get that book now and show it to you. I'm going to scooch all forward so I can move and go get it real quick. for photo albums. I love getting pictures developed and stuff. Ooh, this is much better because y'all can see more of the Christmas tree. Mm, y'all still can't see the star, but there is a star on top. This is my favorite book. If you were like me, you, and you decide you want to read it, it is a true story and you might get a little emotional like I did. But like the, the last few pages, the last, is it just two pages? It's five pages, okay. The last five pages, I was reading it and it was like it could have been me writing it. I mean, that's how much this person, Catherine, related to me. I actually used this book in my senior thesis, which I need to film that soon. <laughs> so. I think that's really all. Thankful for the kitchen that I can cook and bake in. I'm really thankful for YouTube and all of you who support me in my journey. Oh, there's the star. I'm gonna pull y'all back. So, thank you so much for watching. This is a short video because I basically just wanted to say hi and tell you what I'm thankful for. If you would like to share some things or maybe one thing that you're thankful for, I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Comments also help my videos get out to more people. So I would really appreciate that if y'all comment. Um, subscribe if you aren't subscribed and hit the bell next to it so that you never miss a video get notifications whenever I post one. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And I guess I will see y'all next time. See you. Here's an encouragement of the day. It's Isaiah 43.2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. That reminds me from senior year of high school, graduation. The choir sang that song to all the seniors. Definitely a bittersweet memory. <laughs> I hated high school ending because it was like all of us, not all of us were going different places, but I was the only one staying in the Memphis area. So it's very sad. But I still try and keep up with them as much as I can. So I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. One more thing. At the end of this video, I'm going to insert a picture of my contribution to Christmas, uh, not Christmas, Thanksgiving, brunner, brunch, lunch, dinner, brunner, and my plate. You all will probably think something's missing from my plate. Yes, we had stuffing or dressing, whatever you want to call it, um, but I am not a stuffing dressing fan. So, I, it is not on my plate. And before y'all get alarmed, 
there was not wine in my glass. If you read the picture, it was grape juice. I'm not quite 21 yet. I will be in a few days. So, it was not wine. It was grape juice. <laughs> Mom said, do you want one of these glasses? And I said, sure, I'll put grape juice in it. So, I'll see you all next time. Bye.